in the real world, when big companies merge with other companies, it can mean some very good things, but it also inevitably means there's going to be some redundancy. You know, we don't need two VPs of finance. One is going to lose their job. And when Disney took over Fox, we knew that that had some exciting prospects, but we also knew that it was going to mean there are going to be a lot of people that have jobs of redundancy and will probably lose their jobs. Well, the latest, uh, guess you could say, um, casualty of that is the animation studio Blue Sky Studios. The company behind the uh, hit animated franchise Ice Age, they recently did Spies in Disguise. They did another, uh, a few other things as well. And Blue Sky is now being shut down. They are shutting it down. Apparently, from what I read, they have around 450 employees. I'm sure some of them will get rehired in some of the other Disney animation brands. I would assume some of them will probably be picked up and acquired. But overall, Blue Sky Studios is being shut down. Now, on the one hand, that, that obviously is, is sad news. On the other hand, I'm surprised they hadn't shut it down already, only because how many animation divisions does Disney need to have? You know, Rob, you and I were talking about this just briefly before the show started. I mean, when you look at Disney, they already have Disney animation and they already have Pixar animation. They already have two major animation studios under their roof. And I guess, you know, having that third just became redundant. I'm sure that Spies in Disguise, I think that was the last movie they put out, only making $171 million probably didn't help the case. And it wasn't all right. that good. That didn't help the case either. Whereas Pixar and Disney Animation continue to crush it. So it's sad. It's unfortunate. But honestly, not that surprising and kind of understandable at the same time. I don't know, Rob, you heard about this news. Blue Sky, Blue Sky Studios getting shut down. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, you know, when you spend what? How many billions of dollars on Fox? You got to be frugal. And, uh, you know, it's not like Disney hasn't been in the business of animation before. Go figure. Uh, it's it's probably it was probably inevitable. But uh, it's uh, you look whenever whenever somebody loses their job, it's a bummer. And um, I, I don't like that. But I think there was no there was no way around it for them. I mean, you've got Pixar, you've got. Their 2D animation facility, uh, uh, it's how, like you said, I mean, it's how many, how many animation studios do you need? Yeah. Hopefully they'll hire all those people and put them to work somewhere else. Yeah. And, and that's, like I said, I, I don't know how many of them will, will get picked up, but I'm sure at least probably some of their brightest lights and bit best talents yeah. will probably get picked up. But you know, whenever you have a studio, especially one that had like legitimate memorable hits on its hands. Uh, getting shut down and folded into something else. It's always sad. Whenever somebody in the industry loses their jobs and when, whenever there's one less entity out there creating content, it's always sad. Anyway, guys, you heard about this news. Blue Sky, Sky Studios being shut down by Disney. It's an unfortunate thing. What do you think? Do you think this was a reasonable move by Disney because they already have two other animation studios? Or do you think Disney is missing out on an opportunity to have like three fully running, operational, independent kind of animation stuffs? What are your thoughts on that? Jump down into the comments section below and leave your thoughts there. All right, guys.